Hello, everyone. This is Crystal Lee with We Are Magic. I'm doing something different today. This is the first time I've done a pick a card, but I've been led to do it. So we are going to go for it. I want you to take three deep, mindful breaths, and I want you to focus on each crystal. Okay. This is a new mic crystal. This will be group one. This is a clear crystal quartz. This will be group two. And this is a rhodochrosite. This will be group three. So whatever skull calls out to you, this is a message from your guides, your higher self, and your ancestors to what's to come soon for you, okay? Or whatever you're currently experiencing. So whatever messages your guides want you to have, choose the first crystal that pops into your thoughts and that's the one you go for okay all right we will get into the reading all right guys for you those who picked group one the new might stone this new might stone is one of my favorites it's called the shaman stone and i just i try not to have favorites but i do have, tend to favor this crystal a lot so we'll put them gear love this crystal all right, so here are the cards that were pre-shuffled and cleansed by sage burning. Um, let me go ahead and light my dragon blood incense. Okay. All right, guys. What spirit guides want you to know right now from the Star Collective? You got, you're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. All right, so let me read this to you. I'll put this right here. Beautiful spirit. I have not seen that card. That's crazy. You're not alone. That's really pretty. All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and join this growing family so you can stay up to date on any messages that I post, okay? <clears throat> the older the soul, the deeper the cave. Many star seeds and old souls enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for vitality, as it allows them to commune with their soul and fill up their energetic resources, especially if they have an underactive or open root chakra or find it hard being human. Many star seeds find it more nourishing to retreat than to spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we're not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals, and we all need the love, company, and support of others, both emotionally and physically. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people and yet feel more alone and isolated than ever. There's still so much we don't know about the energetic side effects of things like social media, with so many people knowing our news. What is it doing to our org field? Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation, yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of this card is to step out of your cave and physically reach out to those in your life to replenish when you need to, but not isolate yourself. This could be seeing friends and family who live nearby or having a regular catch up walk with someone. In what ways can you open yourself up to the people who are physically in your life? Those you truly know. And how can you reach out to people in your life physically? Ooh, that resonates with me, guys. My goodness, I'm going to leave that alone. All right, what spirit guides, what angels, ancestors, oracles who are working with you? You have spring, which is see your seeds grow. So that's good. That's a great energy. And you also have Peacekeeper. Let go the need to be right. Okay. Group one. What is going on with you guys? All right. Well, let's see spring. Let's uh, see what messages spring has for you. All right. If I can get to spring, hang on for one second. That is in the season section. <clears throat> and I'll bring it closer to you so you can see it. Embrace the change that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become reality. 
you are ready, group one, to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations, and projects. And when this card appears, you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand, and create in a way you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth. And if you're starting something new, prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. When the spring card arrives in the future position of a spread, or as the last card in the reading, it can also indicate that coming spring will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Okay, group one, the new mites. All right, peacekeeper. Let's get that energy and see what spirit wants you to work on. Obviously it's peace. No judgment here, I have the same problem, okay? Let go the need to be right. Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important, group two. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across. But you're being reminded to by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intu intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation, along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you. Choose peace. You know it's calling you. Oh, guys. We'll place it right there. Now we'll see what tarot has to say. All right, so what is benefiting you or, no, I'm sorry, what is your current situation, group one? Your current situation is four of pentacles and that's guarding against loss. So there's your current situation. What is your foundation right now as to why you're in this current situation? Five of pentacles. So it's probably the current environment. Group one, you're probably kind of watching the news and you're wondering, what is going on with this pandemic? So that's why your root cause, your root cause is you're just, you're worried about hardship. And that is, I can see why in case there's another shutdown. Okay. So what's crowning this energy? Five of wands. Okay. So there is some strife going on. It makes sense why the peacekeeper came out. So yes, you got some, uh, battling going on may not just be physical you may be going through a spiritual warfare um you may have some people at work fighting for your job i mean it could be drama related could be some friendly competition going on and maybe sports related i mean we're not sure yet um what's benefiting you right now group one the lovers okay so this is gemini energy um this also deals with twin souls twin flames soulmates you if you're married um the fact that your partner is or not married i mean you could be just in a relationship um your partner is benefiting you right now so lean on your partner group one and if you don't have a partner again your reading has something to do with friendships and getting out you know any relationship that you may have that's what's benefiting you right now and that's what you need to work towards and your outcome what your guides want you to work on or what's going to happen is the world so the world is universal energy you have universal support you're not alone again you're not alone okay so you got that energy there so the universe came forward and this is really a great card um the world you have lovers um you have some strife going on in your life and i hate that for you group one but it looks like you have universal support so whoever is effing with you <laughs> that's the ass you hear me group one um but yeah this is your success card so you have success as your outcome and happiness and achievement and the world supports you the universe supports you all right group one so if this makes sense to you you know, if you got some battling going on and they're telling you to have peace, you know, let me know down in the comments if this resonates with you. And thank you for watching and tuning in. And if you have not yet group one, please subscribe to my channel.
and you can look at the other videos that I've posted so far. It's a new channel. It's a young channel. It's a growing family. So just, you know, welcome to We Are Magic. I've already manifested this is going to blow up. And with your help, it can. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Hey, group two. For those who chose the quartz skull, I have already done your reading and everything is saged and pre-shuffled and stuff and what i did i just picked up on your collective energy with this crystal like whoever chose this crystal those are the cards that would just come out okay so what star seed family is supporting group two who chose clear crystal quartz and you have this portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card all right group two i see y'all are up for the shenanigans and what angels and ancestors are supporting you right now? You have mountains. Stand your ground, group two. Okay, I'll go further into that. And you also got She Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. Okay, group two. Y'all got some stuff going on. Wild card, you got mountains, stand your ground. And gee, what well, we got? What is up with y'all? Okay. All right, so I'm going to read Portal to you first. Okay, thank you for tuning in, Group 2. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date what's going on. These are the little tarot cards, Group 2. We won't unveil those yet. All right, here we go. Beautiful card. This is your Group 2 staring into the portal, okay? Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. Doors are opening for you. Your thoughts are extra powerful for you right now. Planets are aligning. The timing is right. The universe is saying, yes, you have the Midas touch group too. Your hard work is being rewarded. This is a time when you can reap the rewards for efforts made in the past. It's also a time when you can achieve a lot. Great leaps can be made. Extreme transformation can occur. Great distances can be traveled in a short space of time. You're swimming with the cosmic current of life, group two. What experience would you like to have? What do you want to create? What new adventure would you like to manifest? Don't lose focus. Use this moment in time wisely. Be conscious and clear with your emotions and thinking. Projects that you've been working on are coming to fruition. Things are in full bloom, group two. It's time to take your harvest and taste your well-earned fruits. And when this card comes up in the spread, it's a sure sign that effortless change is possible. And if you've been looking for a sign, this is your portal into what new into that new reality. Now is the time to make big changes. And if you've been guided to switch things up, you're extremely well supported right now. Use this energy and jump right on in. What would you most like to experience, group two? So that's your star seed soul inquiry. Okay. All right, beautiful message, spirit. Thank you. Mountains stand your ground. What is up with that? All right. Let me grab your little card here. Hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on because it is absolutely right. Know that heaven and earth are supporting you, group two. Um, mountain energy is powerful because it's firmly rooted in great mother and reaches high to the great father. If you're feeling challenged or pressured at this time, know that your spirit is more powerful than you think. You are resilient and <laughs> grounded. Oh my gosh. And the energy of air of the mountains is giving you the unshakable strength to, to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you're not sure what you need to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are. Talk things over with those around you and know that change will come to you. You will know that, I'm sorry, you will be whole and well at the end of this current situation and it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. Beautiful. I like the energy y'all got going on. Y'all have that little brown energy okay and you're like what was that yeah that's me being i don't know what that was sorry guys anyway you have she wolf <laughs> that's why you don't hear me say round 
Okay. Unleash the wild within. Group two. Look at y'all. Let your wild side up and out. Unleash your talents and your desires. You are being rewilded at this time. Guided to reconnect with your rebellious heart. The part of you that likes to break boundaries and go beyond them completely. If you've been holding back on your hopes and dreams, you're being encouraged to chase after them now. Let the wolf energy within you track down what direction you want to go in. And don't let any traps or hunters get in the way of your freedom or your growth. The life you want is here. Nice energy, guys. Y'all are just not taking no for shit, are you? Good for y'all. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go into tarot. What is the current situation? Going into group one, you have two of pentacles. So you got some decisions to make, okay? So pentacles represents earth, and it also, as you see, represents chiching money. And the two of pentacles is you're maintaining a balance with one or more area of your life, okay? What is your root or your foundation for this reasoning? Oh, six of wands. Okay, so we got a little celebratory thing going on. Maybe you've had a promotion. Maybe you're about to get a promotion. Um, that's the root for why you are balancing so much right now and living your best life. So what is your, what's crowning your energy right now? the page of swords so you had some delayed news some disappointment so that's in your head that's in your thought pattern right now what is benefiting group two right now oh you got the emperor oh my gosh so the emperor is the divine masculine that's the daddy energy that's the you know father energy so um, it also represents Aries. So if you have any Aries in your chart, you know, the emperor came through. Um, and the emperor is just success. It's masculine success energy, okay? The emperor is ambition, which are telling you to chase your dreams, of course, group two. Um, the emperor is also authority, achievement, financial stability. Good for you, group two. And what's the outcome? Six of cups. What, group two? So it looks like if you take control of your life, you have universal support. Um, your ancestors are pushing you to unleash the wild within and to stand your ground. You are a war daddy and a war mama. Okay, this resonates with anybody. All right. Your outcome is the six of cups and you're like, Crystal, what does up with the six of cups? All right. The six of cups is like childhood past, happiness from the past, old friends, old love revived um could be a childhood sweetheart coming back or just you know back when we were children and we weren't bombarded by responsibilities and ignorance you may be returning back to that inner wounded child and healing that child and bringing back the happiness group too so this is a beautiful reading you're winning this is what's crowning your thoughts you got to change your thoughts change your thoughts you change your life okay because you have emperor energy supporting you. You have that sun energy supporting you. And your outcome is happiness. So this is a beautiful reading. And I support it. And I'm happy for it. And I'm happy for you guys. So just, you know, just stand up for who you are. All right. All right, group two. That is your messages from your guides. Take care. Group three, who chose Rhodochrosite skull? This skull is nice. It helps with like emotions and your heart chakra and healing whatever may have hurt you i like this skull too i mean i know i like the new white but i like this one also all right for those who chose rotocrosite if you have not yet please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on anything i post it's not always about tarot and readings i also bitch about stuff all right guys for group three who chose rotocrosite what star seed oracle is supporting you you have karmic relationships orion energy polarity soul growth conflict Ooh, okay i'm being led to read that to y'all now i was going to pull the other ones but never mind let's go ahead and read this one i'm i'm just as excited as y'all 
<laughs> All right, karmic relationship. Okay. <clears throat> I appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. I really do. Okay, let me hold this for you. It's a beautiful card. I don't think I've ever seen this one either. All right. The constas, sorry, in the constellation Orion is thought by many to have been a place of great polarity and eventual unity. Some believe that many star seeds who were part of this cosmic history are incarnate on Earth now and are playing out karmic relationships from Orion times. Perhaps you're one of them. Okay. Polarity causes conflict and highlights separation. However, because of this, conflict can also result in unity and growth. I like that twin flame stuff. Too many misunderstandings are caused when we don't open our heart and mind and see things from a different point of view. Sorry, got it away from you. <clears throat> when we go into the reactive second guessing mode instead of gathering the courage to open our heart, we should admit that we have reacted because of our own woundings and then find mutual ground. We're all innocent children looking to be seen, understood, and cherished. It's much harder to grow closer through conflict than it is to grow further apart. And yet, that's the invitation of conflict. It's easy to react and take things personally. It's more challenging to see the innocence of all involved and find a way to grow closer through the conflict. It's the relationships that we grow the most. How can you soften your heart and drop your defenses? enough to see things from a different point of view. How can you see the innocence of all involved group three? How can you learn to see the similarities rather than the differences? <clears throat> and your star seed soul inquiry. Which relationships do you find the most challenging group three? How can you see things from a different perspective? How are you being called to allow growth through the conflict? Okay, so y'all have some karmic healing you need to work on, group three. Okay, I see why the, you chose the rhodochrosite. I told you, it deals with the heart. It's all about balance. All right, what angels and ancestors are working with you? You have shield maiden. Make plans and focus, okay? And you also, let me fix this, and you also have summer bask in joy and light okay all right let's read these and see what's going on with shield maiden thank you spirit so much for these accurate and beautiful messages for group three all right group three let's go have a plan or strategy in place before moving forward <clears throat> taking some time to assess what your next steps will be all great warriors have a plan. You are a sensitive being. And if you are not prepared for the task you are taking on, you could end up feeling exposed and helpless, Group 3. The ancestor guidance that is coming to you now is a reminder that you have a warrior's heart and that you have it within you to be more prepared and focused than you have been recently. So have a strategy in place and then let your guide support you as you move forward. Okay, and I've been struggling with that also. I'll have things planned out, and then it just, I don't know what happens. It just goes to shit. So, yeah, that, that resonates with me also. I've got to get it together. <clears throat> All right, summer. Also, your other message. Bask in joy and light. Rise up, open your wings, and shine. Bring your parts and, your parts, bring your projects and plans out into the light into manifestation i love manifesting good stuff of course not bad stuff <clears throat> this is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor light has come to banish the darkness clarity is arriving too allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward angels and ancestor guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and to not rush forward because this is a time for pleasure enjoyment and expansion there is a great chance that you have extra energy creativity and inspiration at this time notice what is coming to you as it is an inspiration directly from the divine when the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread or the last card in a reading it can also indicate that the coming summer will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions okay group three 
What's going on in the summer? All right, let's see what Tarot has to say. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for this. What is benefiting group three right now? I'm not benefiting. I'm sorry. What is the current... Let me move the baby over here. What is the current situation for group three right now? Sorry about that, Spirit. I'm just tired and I'm hungry. As you can hear, my stomach is growling. So the fool, currently you're going in as the fool and you're like, I'm no damn fool. The fool is a great card. It's a great card. You know why? Because it means that you are just open to any opportunity. I mean, the fool can mean so many wonderful things. It means that you're trusting the universe. You see how he has all the astrological signs here, the horoscope sign. He's just juggling them. He's just like, you know what? I'm out here. We out here. We're doing this. All right. So the fool unexpected opportunities are coming to you okay so that's your current situation um and you have a major choice all right what is the root or the foundation going in for group three? Oh, ten of wands so you have a lot of burdens you're you got the world on your shoulders you're doing everything by yourself you're holding you're holding everybody down group three i hear you you're overworking yourself so be careful with that wands energy is fire energy so you are basically doing way too much group three okay um ten of wands as you see he has all the wands on his back he's doing everything nobody's helping him and that's how you're feeling you're feeling overburdened um you're weary but you're determined group three what is crowning your energy what's on your thought life oh the two of wands there it is you making a choice making a decision okay two of wands so that's you've got two fire energies coming out and summer so you got a lot of sun energy going on here and the two of wands represents um initial accomplishment um possible partnership you got some growth going both ways which way you're going to go which way you're going to choose okay um what is benefiting group three right now oh the three of wands y'all got a lot of fire in this one Look at y'all. Okay. So three of wands, I call this my ships have come in or my ships are coming in card. And the three of wands, again, fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leah. Um, you have completion, um, progress, um, first stage of a project coming through. Good for y'all. All right. I like this reading so far. Y'all are winning at every angle so far, except this is what you know your foundation is you got to stop overworking yourself it's not good for you or anybody and what is your outcome group three what's the outcome the hierophant okay i see y'all group three it's right it's not another one's energy so the hierophant is like a very wise person um rules regulatory i mean the hierophant provides guidance traditional values as you see he looks like a little preacher here he's got you know, he's got the little church glass behind him, but you know, you see the planet behind him and that's, that's a good energy guys. All right. Okay. I like this reading. So you're open, you're going into the future. Like, Hey, I'm not sure what the hell's going on, but I trust the universe due to the fact that you, you're overworking yourself group three. You got a choice to make. You got a possible partnership coming up. You're wands energy you know it's work related finance or whatever whatever you're manifesting it's working and people are going to come to you for advice and wisdom group three so be prepared it looks like the universe got some karmic stuff going on with you guys so this resonates with y'all let me know down in the comments all right guys thank you for tuning in i appreciate you for coming to we are magic and we are magic and you're not a mere ass basic ass human so just remember that all right guys thoughts create reality always manifest goodness into your life all right thank you for tuning in i appreciate y'all take care goodbye